Heaven knows what in good time actor Buddy Duress, 38, passed away. According to his brother Christopher Stathis, Duress, who co-starred in Good Time with Twilight actor Robert Pattinson, passed away in November 2023 from a cardiac arrest from a drug cocktail. He debuted as an actor in the 2014 film Heaven Knows What, directed by Josh and Benny Safdie. He was cast in this part soon after being freed from Rikers Island due to a drug-related conviction. The actor's mother Joanne and younger brother Christopher survive him. The actor spent much of his life in and out of jail. His criminal record was lengthy, having landed him in jail on identity theft, grand larceny, and heroin possession charges at least ten times. Buddy attended Manhattan's Robert Louis Stevenson High School after being born Michael C. Stathis in Queens, New York, in May 1985. Following his film debut in 2014, he later collaborated with the Safdie brothers once more for the 2017 film Good Time, in which he portrayed a heroin dealer who befriends Pattinson's character. In addition, he made appearances in a number of other motion picture projects, such as The Mountain, Funny Pages, Person to Person, Flinch, and Beware of Dog. According to his IMDb biography, he has two additional flicks coming out later this year, Mass State Lottery and Skull. Buddy's career was hindered by his incarceration. The actor was so admired by comedian Pete Davidson in 2019, according to the New York Post, that Davidson asked the actor to try out for his untitled Judd Apatow, Pete Davidson comedy, which was directed by Apatow. But Buddy was in Rikers, so he couldn't do it. During his release from Rikers Island in 2013 due to narcotics charges, Duress met Josh Safdie through a common friend, according to an interview he did in 2017 with Essence. At that point, Duress had bailed out of a drug inpatient program and was a fugitive. He was cast in heaven knows what, but when the film was completed, he was apprehended by the authorities and returned to Rikers Island. When the movie debuted at the 2014 New York Film Festival, he was still incarcerated. You know, I still give it some thought. I never would have ended up in heaven knows what, and I most likely wouldn't be an actor today if I hadn't attended that program. That is the veritable truth. I wouldn't, he said to the newspaper. The Los Angeles Times reports that the producers urged him to write a journal about his time in prison after he was freed, and they eventually incorporated it into their script for good time. He was taken into custody in 2019 on suspicion of third-degree grand theft and returned to Rikers, according to the New York Post. During the same year, he was also detained for making threats to set his mother Joanne's house on fire while filming the crime drama Flinch. Director Cameron Van Hoy and his mother helped to free him, but he was eventually detained and returned to Rikers on allegations of menacing and illegally possessing brass knuckles and a controlled narcotic. He is an extraordinarily gifted actor. However, Van Hoy told the New York Post at the time, he needs to concentrate on acting instead of hustling on the streets. Flinch Van Hoy had nothing but appreciation for the star despite his legal troubles during the making of the picture. On screen, Buddy exuded sheer electricity. He told people, collaborating with him was one of the greatest experiences of my life. He loved making movies and was a kind person. When it came time to work, he somehow managed to set aside whatever problems he was having in life, after the filming of Flinch, we were fairly close. That his life ended the way it did breaks my heart. He filmed Mass State Lottery with Jay Carroll S., his other director, who described him to people as, a once-in-a-lifetime charismatic actor and a genuinely humble man that left an impression on everyone he met. He lived like a cowboy and carrying the weight of that kind of life informed his skills and performances in a way that made him irreplaceable as an actor, he said, adding that his death was a tragic and frustrating loss of visceral talent. This man was an incredible treasure, Jay wrote in an Instagram tribute to him. Buddy was unquestionably one of the most interesting individuals I've ever met, and his stories were second to none, when I saw him in good time in 2017, I thought, that's what acting needs to be in the future. That individual. He had a charm and genuineness on television that is hard to find these days.
Getting him into the mass state lottery was a dream come true, and I consider myself fortunate to have been both his buddy and director.